In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on some miscellaneous concept on differentiation. The question is find the derivative of sin inverse x plus y plus y is equal to x square with respect to x. As you see, again x and y cannot be separated. So it again falls in the category of implicit differentiation. Also you have inverse trigonometric function sin inverse. So you need to know the formulas a to z of whatever we have studied till now. Let's start with the solution. The differentiation has to be done with respect to x. The question is sin inverse x plus y. Let's start differentiating. So I write differentiating with respect to x. It is nothing but sin inverse something. So what is the differentiation of sin inverse? 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Remember the differentiation of sin inverse x sin inverse x differentiation was 1 upon 1 minus x square under root. That is what we are going to follow. Let me erase this to create some space. But this is the formula that you should know in order to go about this question. Then 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. What is x? The whole thing now. And once you have done with this, according to the chain rule, you cannot stop it here. You have to actually differentiate x plus y also. Differentiation of x plus y 1 plus 1 for x dy by dx for y plus what is the differentiation of y dy by dx is equal to what is the differentiation of x square 2x that is done. Now dy by dx wherever it is let us take common so dy by dx 1 will come with this thing so it is 1 upon 1 minus x plus y whole square under root and then plus 1 from here. What all other terms are there? It is nothing but 1 upon under root and all written that is copied because there are two terms in short in this whole expression and is equal to 2x as it is. Now what is the answer? The answer would be the value of dy by dx. dy by dx is here. Actually you need to substitute this value to the other side in order to find out dy by dx. So as you see that we have one factor here, one factor here in the denominator and this is a very complex factor. In order to simplify our solution, let us multiply both these sides by this thing only because this is the problematic term. Let us actually multiply by that. So what happens? dy by dx and here what would happen is here the LCM would have taken place. When the LCM would have taken place and you have multiplied by the same factor, the numerator and the denominator, this term got cancelled. So you would have got 1 plus under root 1 minus x plus y whole square. Right? And here also what would have happened? 1 would be there because you have multiplied. And here it is 2x multiplied by 1 minus x plus y whole square. Right? This is whole square. Let us make two more clear. So it is nothing but whole square. The whole square means the power 2. Now, again I actually illustrate what has been done. We were given a function which had x and y involved and we saw that it was implicit differentiation category. We reached till here, then we saw that the question is becoming more complex. In order to simplify, we multiplied by this factor throughout. And the plus 1 is here, it is a constant. Let constant be on one side. So I remove plus 1 on here and I make it minus 1 there. So it is nothing but minus 1. Now dy by dx is nothing but this term upon this whole term. So what is my answer to dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to 2x multiplied by 1 minus x plus y whole square in the under root minus 1 upon, upon this whole thing 1 plus under root 1 minus x plus y whole square. So that is your answer to this question. 